Welcome back heroes to some more Pokemon Tempo Rise. In the last episode we began the game off and we ran into a Meloetta that joined our party. However it can't sing, it can't dance, it's got no inspiration. It's getting a little bit of inspiration a bit by bit like when we saw a Smeagol just like do a portrait of Arsene and Meloetta got a little bit of inspiration which is nice. So hopefully uh, throughout the game it'll get more inspiration than be able to sing and dance again. Our parents gave us a starter Pokemon which is our Shiny Zora which is... Ooh! Got a Thunderstone, nice! Thanks dude! <laughs> yeah, so we made our way to the professor's lab. Um, we caught a, a Chin Chow as well, which is really cool. There's our Shiny Zora and there's our Meloetta. So we came to the professor's lab and the professor said we have to kind of battle and heal up Meloetta and maybe that will give us some inspiration. So we're going to head up north and try and find the Pokemon Center. Not too sure how we get north. Oh, that's pretty easy. <laughs> so there's the Pokemon Center. Let's go and heal up first. Ooh, the Pokemon Center looks really nice. Hello and welcome to the Pokemon Center. We restore your tired Pokemon to full health. Yes, please, heal me up. Alright, does this do anything to Meloetta? Oh, um, okay. I'll save the game. Alright, okay. Uh, so we're nice and healthy. So now we have to get into a few battles with Meloetta and then hopefully that will uh, give us some inspiration. But we got some TMs here as well. Ooh. Okay, I'm gonna get one super potion <laughs> just in case we need it. I didn't realize we were quite poor. <laughs> Yo, what's up, dude? Hey there, young trainer. You in town to get your first Pokemon? Professor Camphora always has some exotic species of Pokemon in her lab for the newbie trainers. Yep, and she almost gave us a um an Eevee, which I I would have happily t taken to be fair. <laughs> oh, no one in here. Nice house though. I mean. Kind of silly, they left it unlocked. Easily, you know, just rob the place. Nice TV in there. Hey, hey there, little trainer. You're here on vacation too? Uprock Beach is a great place to unwind. If you don't mind sharing space with strangers. I actually do. I mind a lot. Don't want to share my space with strangers. Ugh, no thanks. So where are the trainers to battle? Alright, so we've got a Pokeball. Nice. Oh, an item inside as well. Sweet. Uh, I'm guessing... Oh, wait, maybe not. Uh, where can we battle people? There was a kid on the right side here. Maybe we can battle you? Hey, do you want to see how a sandcastle is made? Oh, Metal Earth feels a bit more inspired. Nice. Oh, it's got to be here. Kind of reminds me of like a, um, the new big stadiums in Sword and Shield. Ooh, yo. Hello, welcome to Upper. Oh, it's a gym. Have you participated in a gym uh, challenge before? Uh, I don't know what to do. <laughs> With like a tip, uses water Pokemon, so this should be fine. We got a Chin Chow. I'm so glad I caught the Chin Chow last episode now, because we can just spark everything, and we're going to be absolutely fine. I'm going to battle, kid. No one's cooler than my Pokemon team. Okay, bring it on. Ooh. So this is the, um, yeah, the Colosseum music. People in the comments told me that, um, so a lot of the music in this game is used from Gale of Darkness. I haven't played that. I've, I've played Gale of Darkness once, and that was like four years ago. Need to play it again, but um, definitely recognize this. Not sure if this is the same music from Gale of Darkness as Colosseum, but I know this is Colosseum battle music, but I assume Gale of Darkness will use the same trainer music. But uh, I want to play through Colosseum and Gale of Darkness again, because I played. Last time I played Colosseum was like five years ago. Then um, Gale of Darkness was. Uh, it was four years ago, so I looked it up on my channel. <laughs> it's like, I know, I never played that game growing up, so I had to buy it. And luckily, I bought it... When I bought it four years ago, I actually played up my game because I actually bought the game. And it cost um, about £40, like $60, which is not too bad. You know, it's quite an old, rare game. And when I saw it in the second-hand shop recently, because um, I, I go in there a lot, so I'm looking for Paper Mario Thousand Year Door, because I really want to just buy that game and play for it again, because... Ah, and I just want to own the actual copy of the game, I don't want to just use an emulator. Anyway, I saw Gala Darkness in there, and it's going for like 70 to 80 pound. I was like, oh my god, that's like almost double what I paid for it like four years ago. Crazy. Actually crazy. Oh, hey, you're paralyzed, nice. Just gonna have to keep going for that, uh, that spark right now. But I think if I play Colosseum and Gala Darkness again, I want to do like a, like a randomizer Nuzlocke, because they look kind of fun, to be fair. Do not poke on the, uh... Oh, do what they could not... Team Snag. 
Oh, I forgot what they're called. I was going to mirror B. What are the evil team called in um, Colosseum? I, I cannot remember. It'll probably come back to me at some point, but... Dude, those games were great. I remember playing Colosseum as a kid, because I bought I bought the um, the game and you got, I think, a free memory card with it, because it just, out of the 60 megabytes, I think it was 60 megabytes, it used like 59 or like 49. It, it used like pretty much the whole memory card. <laughs> oh, dude. Does anyone remember memory cards? Just absolutely ridiculous. So expensive. Well, I remember spending, I think mean, it was like the price of a game on a PS2 8 megabyte memory card. 8 megabytes. That's crazy. For that price now, you could probably get like, I don't know, 5 terabytes? <laughs> That'd be crazy, dude. I remember, I remember spending £100 on a 1 gigabyte. I think it was not, not micro SD. It was, I think it was just, a, no, it wasn't SD either. I forgot the name was an SD for the um the PSP. Oh dude, memory cards used to be super expensive, but luckily they're quite cheap nowadays. I got like an, a micro SD for my Switch, quite cheap, which is good. Oof. It's crazy to think how far technology's come in. A few few years, I'd say a few years. Like when the PSP came out, like ten years ago, longer more than ten years ago, like fifteen years ago. Oh dude, sometimes I feel old. I need to go heal up now because that Shazam's dead. <laughs> oh, I feel like that guy from the start of every Pokemon game, like, technology is amazing. Because it kind of is. Kind of is. Anyways, to get the slow poke, nice. Is that your uh, last Pokemon? Because if so, I need to go heal up. Oh, you got one more. Poliwag. Uh, yeah, we're staying. Try and get Zora to level 21. Oh, sorry, level 22. Really level 21. Double slap, okay. Slap me again. Oof. Come on, fan attack, do some work. It's, yeah, about half. I think it might just do a little teeny weeny bit though. Oh good. Sometimes like when like you know you do half HP, because obviously the HP goes to yellow, but the bar just to me anyway doesn't look like it's halfway, it looks like it's a teeny weeny bit over. Oh, one out of four matches complete. I'm gonna quickly go heal up. I'll see you guys back in a second. Alright, we're back, nice and healthy. Let's take on this girl in the pool. I found all my Pokemon at bar floating on the sea. Oh, good. So Spark should just absolutely destroy you then. Finian, okay. I just love the Colosseum music. Part of me hopes, I doubt it's ever gonna happen, but I really hope one day we get a HD remake of Colosseum and uh, XD Girl of Darkness. Because, you know, like, I've wanted that for a long time, but. The thing that's given me a lot of hope recently is that Shadow Pokemon have come into Pokemon Go. It just makes me think that they haven't forgotten about Shadow Pokemon. And part of me feels like, I don't know, I feel like Niantic would maybe have to go to the Pokemon company and go, this is our next event, we want to do Shadow Pokemon, the Pokemon company had to go yes or no. I feel like that would be the case with Niantic. But, I'm sorry, I'm not 100% sure on that. Um, but, dude, the fact that Shadow Pokemon still exist, and like another game just make, makes me a little bit hopeful that we get a Colosseum XD Gale of Darkness game or remakes and then everyone will buy them because they're like amazing and they'll be on Switch and then it'll sell super well and they'll be like oh god this actually sold amazing we should do a third game and then we get a new one that would just be that'd be heaven it really would and I think them games could actually be really good because they wouldn't have to stick to like a, like a time slot so like Sword and Shield has to get a you know, release date when it releases because it's got to fit in with the, the anime, the merchandise, or the promotions and stuff. It's just, it's, you know, they got to kind of hurry up the process of making the game. Whereas, you know, a new Colosseum game doesn't have to fit in with anything, just take their own pace. But that's being hopeful. I'm still hoping for a new Mystery Dungeon game. To be fair, it's not looking likely anytime soon because I feel like there's been multiple announcements by the company that make Mystery Dungeon. And just not, not, not even like a little tease. And when was the last time we got a Mystery Dungeon game? Like five years ago? Four years ago, wait. So no, it might be six years ago. Super Mystery Dungeon, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it was like six years ago. Love Mystery Dungeon games. I mean, I, I have a love hate relationship with them. Like, I love them, but my goodness, sometimes they are annoying. <laughs> just it's all that RNG if you get 
bad luck with the traps and stuff, and... Oh, it could be horrible. But it's still a fun game. Very fun. I just think we need more Pokemon spin-offs, but I, I kind of feel like... Wait, one out of four? Oh, I've got to stay in and fight everyone? Okay. This is going to be difficult. I might have to just keep fighting these guys for some grind and then come back and then take them all on once I'm um, high enough level. I think if I leave, I've got to redo it. Okay. Um, I'm going to do some grinding. And then when I'm done grinding, I'll come back and we'll take on the last two trainers. So I'll see you guys in a little bit. Alright, so I've done a little bit of grinding. Everyone grew a few levels, so we're looking good. Um, fortunately, Zora died. I didn't think the why not would kill me. Went for a counter and just one shot me, which was which was great. But all the money I got from finding these trainers multiple times, I bought some potions. So we're looking uh, quite good. I want to see if I can beat all four trainers and then unlock the door. So I don't have to fight. If I can leave and heal up and have to fight all four again. Hoping that would be the case, but Mellow Water and these hyper voices just pretty much one shot everything, so it's great. <laughs> Alright, what else you got? You have a Krabby, okay. So we're fine. I haven't fought the fourth trainer once. I fought this trainer once before, just to uh, get a little bit more XP. And we're about to be level 24, nice. You know, Poliwag, great. Nice. And I just need to double check something. Okay, good. I couldn't tell if this was recorded or not because I just saw a zero zero and I thought the recording didn't start and I was about to literally cry. Whew. All right, so if we go to Shazam, go for a nice spark. Take out Wingo super quick, nice and easy. All right. I need to find out what level uh, Chin Chow evolves because I think it's in the 20s, I'm pretty sure. that. What level does Chin Chow evolve? Let's see what you got for me. It's 27. Okay. Only uh, four more levels to go. Not too bad. Yo, hey, what's up? So what kind of trainer are you? I'm the best kind of trainer. That makes a lot of mistakes but somehow wins still. Yep. The best kind. <laughs> Alright, so let's go Hyper Voice, we'll one shot the Surskit. Only got one more Hyper Voice left, which kind of sucks. Can make sure we'll make it count. Uh, Lotad. Yeah, go for Hyper Voice on that. I think I'll make it count. So we have pain in the butt to take down with uh, Spark, so Hyper Voice all good. Alright, last Pokemon, you got a Poliwag. Alright, let's go with the Chin Chow. Go for them Sparks. Dude, I'm, I'm loving my team in this game already. Just having a Chin Chow, Shiny Zora, Meloetta. I mean, it's great. It's all good. <laughs> Alright, Water Gun. I should do a thing. I think it literally did like... Did it do like 1 HP? Oh, no, it's like 4 HP. Did 4 damage. That's... That's great. <laughs> oh, nice and easy. Sweet, and one more Pokemon left, I'm pretty sure. Which is a Slowpoke. Hey boy, nice and easy. Just keep spamming that spark and then we'll get there eventually. Oh, critical hit. Okay, I was kind of hoping that would be damage from a non-crit, but is it still good? And last spark, goodbye Slowpoke. Alright, so, do we have to fight that little girl that's blocking the way up, or is she the, the gym leader? <laughs> I guess we'll find out in a second. Alright, 4 out of 4, final match from the challenger and the gym leader, uh, Mary, now we can begin. You, Mary? You fought everyone else? So I guess it's my turn. Oh, it is. Okay. I train my Pokemon by swimming together. What kind of training have you been doing? Uh, fighting your little gym trainers over and over. Oh my god! Surely I can't win this. She's level 31. Um. 
I, I guess I'll just keep spamming confusion and try and get the confusion. So I'm gonna have to do a. Oh, nice! Got the confusion straight up. I'm gonna have to do a lot of training then. I mean, I'm hoping I can fight the four trainers again before we take on the gym leader. If I have to come in and fight the gym leader again, then this is gonna be a long process of grinding. Okay. I think as well, she has six Pokemon. And the first one's a level 31 Blastoise. Like, <laughs> what do? <laughs> Just keeps them asleep though. This is good. Well, I swear to God, if she goes for a potion, I'm gonna cry. Please hurt yourself. Please hurt yourself. Yes, let's go. Come on, Meloetta, you got this. Keep going. Getting all that HP back with leftovers as well is really nice. Really wish we had PP for. Hyper voice, if you hurt yourself, oh, don't flinch, don't flinch, don't flinch. You got a crit? And we flinched! No! Oh, dude, that sucks. Okay, um. I'm gonna have to give him a quick attack. Just do a little teeny bit of damage and. Oh, dude, if you hurt yourself from fusion, that would be great. Hopefully, Chin Chow can live one attack and spark and take out the Blastoise and. Yeah, if we can get Chin Chow to a lantern and then. We might be able to take her out, to be fair. Might be like enough damage. And... Oh, where she lives? Oh, wow. Cool. Give me that sweet, sweet XP. 2 HP, dude. Oh, wow, that's a lot of XP. 24. Almost 25. Toxic Croak. Okay. I doubt I'll speed it. Yeah. So we're going to have to do a lot of grinding. Well, am I sure I'm supposed to take on the gym leader right now? Maybe I just got to fight the trainers and then I go speak to the professor. Oh, my lord, I picked up something. Great ball. Cool. Okay. And let's quickly save it. I want to go speak to the professor. Oh, no, or not. I guess I only sa want you to save the game when, um, yeah, you heal up yourself. You faint and then... Heal up doesn't save the game. Okay. Uh, I swear I saw. Yeah, so we've got a badge. Huh. Okay. I'm not sure if that was supposed to happen, but you finished your experiments? Excellent. So it seems Meloetta is healthy and capable. Alright, next idea. Meloetta is a kind of artist. An artist experienced things like burnout and writer's block. Let's see if we can inspire Meloetta a little. Something like a quiet moment of reflection, or seeing another's artist's work, or doing something to get focused usually helps humans. Have you ever noticed a reaction from Meloetta when doing something like that? I think that might be why it approached uh, you for help. Once Meloetta is inspired enough, I'm sure it will be able to sing and dance again. Uh, the ruins up north of Mythedge Village. Okay. So we'll both go there next. Is this it? Uh, I get. I guess that's gotta be it here. The ruins. But I need to. Um. I want to take on that gym. I want to try and win. So I'm gonna quickly do some grinding again. I want to see if I can take on these trainers first. If I can, then it'll make life so much more easier. I think if we can just get Shazam to level 30, we should be able to. Do it to be fair, you can probably sweep the whole team. Uh, oh, you can't fight him again. That sucks. Uh, okay, so I'm gonna do some grinding. Um, I'll see you guys in a little bit. It's gonna take a while though, but I want to beat her so bad. All right, so I'm back. I've done a little bit of grinding and I found out this game, the uh, level scale with you, which is um, gonna make this battle a little bit more difficult. I've got a strategy though. If it works, it works. If it doesn't, then it doesn't um we got our lantern i've put the speed up a little bit just to help with grinding but i want to see the strategy works let's give it a go if it doesn't work then i don't know if we can beat her <laughs> well at least if we get a few more team members and whatnot but she's still level 31 which is good so here's my strategy i'm gonna go sing sick gonna try sing again nice right then we are going to switch into Shazam. 
and we are gonna go for a stockpile. And you woke up, great. And we are gonna stockpile again. Nice. And then one more time because it maxes out at three. So pretty much anything that should kill us is a critical hit. Gonna go for a Confuse Ray. Gonna go for a Confuse Ray. There we go. <laughs> and we are going to heal up. Nice. Alright. It's going well. We've got 8 PP left. So I had to fight all the trainers again. For some reason this time I said like, oh you have to fight the trainers. Like, okay. I mean I'm fine with that. A bit more XP before the battle. Can't go wrong. Oh, okay, switching out. It's fine. Okay. Gonna go for a nice confuse ray. Oh snap. Oh, it's fine. Accuracy drop. That kinda sucks, but. <gasps> oh! Okay. Okay, okay, okay. Doing me dirty like that, that's fine. It's fine. Oh good. There we go. Just make sure you hurt yourself a couple of times. I don't think we can go for water gunks, it'll be um dry skin, right? Oh dude, we might end up going for struggle. Dude, just land something! Please! And just hurt yourself a couple of times, dude. That would be just lovely. Nice. Okay, okay. Good. One spark should probably finish you off. Ooh, okay, okay. Nice, you hurt yourself. Good. Don't want to waste my PP for spark. You're Jolteon? Oh, snap. Okay. We have Volt Absorb. So we have Volt Absorb, right? Might be fine. Okay, I'm just gonna spam them water guns then. Save my PP for spark and just... Dude, I don't got hit with two mud bombs and I actually dropped, but... <laughs> you're killing me right now. Oh, yeah, we're fine. We're fine, we're fine, we're fine. Uh, save the moon look a little bit later on. Okay, it's fine. Good thing is, she isn't healing up yet, which makes me happy. Right now, I definitely gotta use a new milk. Okay, so she had like PP things like ethers, then it'll be good. Right, one more water gun. Let's keep missing. <laughs> Dude, this actually drop is so bad for us, but it's fine. If we could just learn like a new electric move right now, that would be just swell. Be great if I didn't get flinched. Okay. I can still go for water gun here. <gasps> oh snap boy! That was close. I'm mainly banking on Blossom's like hurting himself right now. The bulk of this damage. Stand back confusion, great. Got two confused ways left. Please land one. Nice. Okay, just gotta spam that water gun. Oh, dude, stand back confusion again. This is so annoying. So annoying. I could probably try this battle again and just try and get better luck, but. I mean, I'm not doing as bad as I thought I was going to do. Right, no more Confuse Rays. Stand back Confusion right away. That's kind of annoying that we get confused. Just passes it on to us. Great. I might just go for a Spark. Try and finish him off now. Enough of the flinches, dude! There we go. Alright, Blasto's gone. Come on, line new electric move. Electric ball! Yes! Okay. Uh, goodbye water gun. For it. Okay. Is this the... Um, actually drop bands. I think that's making us lose. That's the perfect time to try and come back there. That's annoying. 
Uh, stand this, nice. When Zora does this, it'd be great, but no, too weak. We just gotta try and land this thing, and that's it. Oh, that was a time to make the comeback. Oh, oh, dude, stop missing! Oh my god, there we go. Okay, okay, okay. We still got one hyper voice left. Nice. Okay, okay. Got a vapor. You still got two Pokemon left. Dude, I'm not gonna win this. If we, if we land the sing then, that could have maybe been it. Oh, dude. Can I try again? Because now we have, like, all the PP back. I don't have to worry about things. I can probably do a lot better. Just because I had to fight the four trainers just before. Yeah, I got to fight all four again. Ah, dude. Maybe we can try. I don't know. I need to buy more potions and stuff.
And there we go, we finally won. Oh man, that took a while, but... Ooh, I thought out the PP, I could easily do it. You've earned this up rocket gym badge. If you want, I also give you permission to enter my room back there. Ooh, I keep some special Pokemon there, but you've proved you can raise them right. Take one if you want. Ooh, okay. Okay, so it doesn't matter if you beat the gym leader or not, you still get the badge. So we like got the badge for uh, losing. Right, I'm gonna quickly put the speed back to normal and we get a free Pokemon. All right, what can we get? We can get, oh, no, oh, sorry, Shazam. Max repel me, still good, still good. <gasps> no! Ah, <sighs> I guess we got a Squirtle. <laughs> oh, it's just, I was thought it was, Shazam was still saying, so I was trying to get rid of it, but, okay. I'm, I'm guessing it was Squirtle, um, Turtle, Mudkip, Piplup, Oshwa, and then Froakie. I probably would have taken Froakie if I'm honest, but I'm sorry, I'm okay with Squirtle, I guess. Level 20, which is alright. Eh, still good. Still good. Ah, <laughs> oh, it's just a stupid lantern in my way. Anyway. I think we'll be in this part right here then. Uh, next episode we can go to the ruins and check that out. And hopefully Meduella can um, get some inspiration back. Just, yeah. Was a... I'm not sure if this episode was long or not. It's just because I did a lot of grinding. So if it's a short, ep if it's a short episode, I apologize. Just, um, I really wanted to beat that gym. And I did it. Which is great. So uh, next episode we'll head up north and go to the ruins. And, um, yeah. Have a great day. See you next time. Peace.